What's up Pioneer fans? I'm Morgan Lair here with head coach Jeff Hebner after another Pioneer sweep. That's three in a row coach. Great energy. Um, it went quick tonight, but it was a lot of fun. Uh, how did you feel about tonight's performance? Oh, it was a great match. I mean, Lubbock played awesome. I mean, they, they hit a high efficiency. They only made five errors in the first set and only four in the second set. And so it's really proud of our kids. I mean, that's a really good volleyball team. Um, I thought we demonstrated a little bit of we haven't played in a week at the beginning of the first set, but we also demonstrated like an incredible amount of individual maturity, which bodes well. I mean, we have a really tough stretch here. We got Cameron and then WT and then Tyler and then DBU, and like that's going to be an opportunity for us to um, score well in our conference. And so um, we need matches like this that challenge us and challenge us and push us. And you know the crowd was awesome, and so um, that's the huge in uh, KMA. Another big night from Kaya Saylor, 20 kills, but you also had everybody step up tonight. I mean, Aaron Jones comes in and gets the match ceiling kill mm -hmm. at the very end. Lexi Williams comes in yeah. and gets some key moments. Katie Hansen owning the middle again. I just talk about the strength of uh, your offense today. Well, I mean, it's really the setters. I mean, Grace and Key have been awesome all year. Grace had, uh, you know, probably the highest total for a three set match. I mean, she had 35 assists in three sets, which is pretty unheard of um, in a 6-2. Uh, and then, you know, I thought our middles were fantastic early and that opened up a lot of space for Kaya. And then you know, Duda had her best efficiency match and then Tori had her best efficiency match. And we really spent the last seven days on decision making in system and out of system. And serve receive was okay today, but um, the choices that we made in transition and, the, and then with the ball when we had to get the ball to our middles were really high level. And so I was just proud of our setters and I was proud of the work that we did this week. Another great night serving. You know, you said not maybe not as good as on the reception end, but another double-digit service night. Uh, that was great. Anything else stick out to you uh, as a key key moment from tonight's match? Yeah, I just think, I think the it, it was good for us to have the opportunity to sort of train in uh, and like have second preseason. We called it this last seven days, but um, we really just wanted to be cleaner and we wanted to be able to make more adjustments live without changing a lot of what we do. Um, and so. I was proud of our kids, you know, this week could have been a week off in their brains and they looked at it as a week on and a week opportunity to put ourselves in a position to really challenge for our league. And so um, it takes great leadership. And I think that we have that in our senior group, we have that in our leadership group, but we also have incredible I'm in followers. And I think that just speaks to our whole team um, and the, their approach this whole season. Yeah. And that shows from the energy on the court, even after you know, missing, missing something and then getting something, the energy stays the same. And that ability to respond in the moment is amazing. Absolutely. But after the break last week, we got two more matches this week going on the road. And then we'll be back in KMA next Friday, October 20th against UT Tyler. Um, anything specific about this, this road trip that, uh, that you're looking at or we love it we love the opportunity to play on the road we've had you know three three road matches opened on the road this year then we got to be at home a few times and uh, now we get to go back you know uh, it's always a tough match in Lone Star Conference play to win on the road but um, that's where greatness kind of comes from is how do you sharpen yourself how do you stay mature how do you keep stay committed to the good um, you know and then we get to be back in KMA you know, on the 20th against Tyler faculty staff night youth clinic the following day. So just a lot of amazing things happening in our athletics department and uh, we're just thankful to be a part of it. Yeah, so don't miss them. Watch them this weekend on the road. They'll be in Cameron on Friday, West Texas on Saturday, and then back in KMA next Friday. Go ahead and mark your calendars because you won't want to miss it. Absolutely. Go Pioneers. Go Dub.